Welcome back, guys, to another live episode of Settlers Mod Multiplayer. Now, we're on 3.0 right now, and we're actually on Screamer Island. Last episode we came, we had some of this done, we had some stuff done. We've finished the canal, we've uh, done some more wall layout, and we've built our horde base. It's not completely done, but it's getting there. How's everybody doing today? It looks like uh, notifications actually went out on time. That is very nice. Uh, once again, if you're just joining the stream or you're watching this video later on, the server is wide open. You guys are more than welcome to join it. If you want to get in on the group project, the best way to do that is by letting us get to know you, either through the community on Discord, um, through the server, or just being around. You know what I mean? Um, most people have gotten in, but uh, we have to kind of put that stipulation there so you don't uh, just expect to jump into a large group build right away that's the recipe for destruction right you guys probably understand that but welcome happy weekend guys it's going to be a shorter episode here today i've got a lot to do um i'm going to be streaming on twitch a, a little bit later as well if you guys actually haven't followed me on twitch um i highly recommend doing that give me a follow-up on twitch i do stream there as well too i like both streaming services uh, but for me, Twitch has seemed to be the best platform for communicating with my audience, right? It's the easiest on that one. Oh, wow. There's so many messages here. How's everyone doing? I'm unable to catch up with the chat there. Hey, fake face, wannabe. What's <laughs> with these names? Robert, Alan, how's everyone doing? Uh, so, guys, this this is modded. Um, the graphics are really well, and they're running really high, so... Um, I'll, I'll let you come to your own conclusion here, but the server information is down in the description guys It's on my website www.skippy3.com um, You know what when is our next horde night? I have to get a video of oh, yeah It's gonna be way too far away I have to get a good video of us doing a horde night on here because the horde nights are a ton of fun uh, So this area here is pretty much done uh, what we've done here is we've done the same thing we did at the last base, except this time we put iron bars all around the edge. We built a pillar up to the middle that you can actually climb up to. We, we should be actually working on that here so at some point. And instead of using the iron bars, what we did, this this is all steel up in here. It's all reinforced steel. This is beefed up like a motherfucker. Um, so it's all reinforced steel. These are upside down spikes sitting on the quarter blocks. Uh, so that people who don't want to participate in Horde Night can still hang out below and actually help us out by looting some of the zombie bodies away so they don't pile up, right? And then, of course, we got some jail doors and some iron bars blocking off our stairs so shit just doesn't get hairy, right? Uh, because all our forges and machines are going to be down here. Uh, we've What we've done is we finished digging this out. Um, the guys did all the decoration here around the edges. Thank, uh, thanks for filling that in for me, guys. Uh, so that's got to be painted. The corners here have to be painted. Uh, this here, what I'm going to do is basically we're going to make little rooms, right? And, well, not enclosed rooms, but like little spaces. And each and every person will have their own forges they can work out of, right? Um, now, I, I expect you guys, when this gets up and running, I expect you guys 100% to get along with each other. If there's any bitching, if there's any stealing, if there's any he did this, he did that, it's not an elementary school, um, you're going to get kicked from the island. Um, that's, how, that's how we're running it. No bullshit, no nothing. Get along, or pretty much fuck off. <laughs> Um, honestly, we, we've tried to like play uh, mediator in the past and then we just spend it, it literally feels like running a kindergarten at that point But guys, like I said, you're more than welcome to join us. I Have no problems with joining servers, eh? Um, I wish I could join the Strugger. Uh, st oh, oh console the reason guys you don't you don't have big servers and stuff on console is because of the amount of information that's passed right like when you come into an area you load all of this as blocks right that's a lot of fucking information this chunk i'm standing in has more information in it than a call of duty lobby all right just just to kind of give you an idea uh of how much information is passed and unfortunately consoles just don't do well passing that much information over a network actually consoles networking is incredible incredibly behind everything else um even pc servers um they they slow down and they get bogged up after about 20 players uh you have to have some pretty hefty hardware to run a successful seven days of die server that's not laggy hey uh killer you're one of my new subscribers and you love the the vids oh thanks man i'm glad you enjoy now i know a lot of you are probably from my console world as well here too guys but 
Uh, this is a mod I've been telling you guys, the mods I've been working on, and the servers I work on as well, too, right? Like, I don't just only do console content. I know that's a surprise, because a lot, like, have joined in the recent last couple of months, but on YouTube, I'm doing a console playthrough right now, right? Nothing wrong with that. And then, when Alpha 17 comes out, I'll probably be doing a PC playthrough, a vanilla one. It'll probably be shorter, and then I would actually like to start a multiplayer Let's Play on my server. So I want to do like a let's play, but do it on my server as well here too. We're going to do, I think, pretty much the same idea. Um, but my area is going to be incredibly protected. Like pretty much me and probably only other, uh, yeah, me and probably only another couple of people will be allowed on it. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But for now, um, my YouTube's full of console content. I enjoy both versions of the game. I honestly, I'm not a fanboy at all, so I can appreciate it. I, uh, you guys may, um, it, it's like learning different languages, right? I don't really need the other language because I don't really use it all that often, but when I do use it, I reach a lot of people that normally wouldn't understand the other language. I guess that's the best way to explain why I do cross-platform, because honestly, who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? I spent four grand on my, um, on my PC and four hundred dollars on my console, and both play seven days to die, so... Whatever. Uh, <laughs> hey, I love emojis. Yeah, guys, we, we just asked, you know, uh, to not spam the channel, right? I, I When I stream, I'm not one of those streams. I, I like to look over and read your guys' conversation, have a conversation with you. And when I look over and I just see, like, a whole bunch of rows of emojis and stuff, it just, it makes it hard. And I know a lot of streamers do that with their streams because it makes it easier for them. Uh, so that they can be like, oh, my chat's moving so fast, I don't have to talk. But for me, streaming isn't about the money. Uh, it's more about, like, grouping up with you guys. Or grouping up with you guys. Um, meeting up with you guys and catching up with you, right? Um, most of my money comes from the actual videos themselves. Uh, what are you going to do today? Uh, we are going to finish up working on this place. I just put up... Um, that's the canary cage. Whoops. That's the canary cage up there. Oh, excuse me. That's a canary cage up there. I just finished off um, putting some concrete on the platform. We have to upgrade it to metal, and then uh, I'm going to put some iron bars around the outside, and that will be our canary cage. Uh, what that is, is now in order to get people or to get zombies to fall off an edge properly, they have to run at you, right? Like, let's say if you're down here and you're standing here and you're the only one on Horde Night. You're going to get very little zombies falling off this edge, right? Very little zombies. They're going to be pushed off, basically. What they're going to do is actually literally just stand above you and run around in circles, right? Um, so the best way to do these drop pits is to have someone up in the middle there and uh, repairing the cage at the same time. Because Settler's Mod has some badass uh, Horde Knight zombies that like to tear shit up. Uh, so uh, they repair the cage, stay alive, and try to take out the zombies that um, are arranging them, right? And then all the other ones, because of those iron bars, see how the iron bars sit along the edges? Actually, we'll go, we'll go take a look. Um, before, these weren't as effective, but they're working way better now. <laughs> I love that YouTube just automatically uh, filtered all of those emojis. That's awesome. Um, but before, with the centered one, it'll actually it actually sat out a little bit, and zombies just ran around on it. But now that you can actually flip it over and into the side, like flush like that, zombies literally run off of it because normally, like even if you're down there, they'll just sit here and then run back and forth, right? They won't run off the edge. But they see this as a whole block and they literally just run right off the edge trying to get to you. So uh, we found a way to make the space very effective again. Now the drop really doesn't do much. It just kind of keeps them all in the same area so we can we can shoot at them, right? But we actually haven't got this one done. Our other one is decommission and this one is waiting to be used. So hopefully um, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming on Twitch some more as well too. And we'll be doing uh, hopefully Horde Night in here tomorrow. I want to get a good group together to do Horde Night up in here. Uh, but I do have some paint. Uh, there might be some paint kicking around here. We got to go paint the basement, finish the basement stalls, um, try to get all that ready so we can get our forges and everything going, and then um, finish off that platform. Because I don't want to be working on that platform either with a bunch of screamers, right? So we got to finish that, and we got to do under here tonight. Um, but the purpose of these videos once a week uh, for about an hour each is to mostly just kind of go around the island and see what we've done so far right so this is screamer island 
Um, I showed you guys we, we've been working on this. This is our permanent horde base. It's literally on an island. It's a perfect spawn pad. And then this is our main island over here. Now, I have not started working on my castle. That's the uh, my castle hump, as I like to call it. And by the way, guys, cheers. The health bar is uh, temporarily disabled right now. We've had um, issues with the health bar not displaying. If you die, there's, there's a, a problem with the, the game inherently. If, if you get hit too hard and your health goes into the negative somehow, I'm still trying to figure this out. It's, it's been a bug that's been around for like ever since Alpha 16.2. Anyways, um, if you die and you get hit too hard and your health goes into the negative, you actually won't be able to load into the game because the AI won't load with a health bar up. Uh, so what I've done is I've removed the health bar so people don't get stuck in that black screen. I really wish I could have it, but unfortunately, it is what it is, right? Um, ooh, I'm cold. This over here is a display of some of the Settlers mod stuff, right? Uh, these are power poles. I'm actually putting this item into the game right here. I like these lights better than those lights, but this was more to display on how power poles, right? Um, what we're going to be doing is splitting up the city into the little sections and then each person will get their own build, right? In the same way we're doing this as well too. Get along with your neighbors or get out, right? That's what I mean. We're all um, like if, if your neighbor has a nice big bay window facing a lake, don't build a huge fucking tower up to, you know, build height in front of it, right? You know what I mean? Just be smart. Think, uh, think homeowners association, the one everyone loves to hate. Um, but these things here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create power plants. There's a block coming up in the expansion that's called the uh, town generator. Uh, what it does is it generates a lot of power because you can only have one power line running, right? You can't like daisy chain a whole bunch of generators together. It just doesn't work that way. It only it only takes power from one. Um, so to power a whole city, you're going to need a lot of power and a lot of gas and a lot of co-op, right? So what we're going to do is create little power stations and then hook up these lines here. Uh, is this is this fueled up? No, it's not fueled up. Let's fuel it up just a bit. There we go. And I turn it on. And you guys can see it, right? So now the whole town will have, uh, we'll have lights going on down the streets, right? Uh, these are the ones I want to use. I don't want to use the other ones. I, I like these ones better. This one here, though, I think that one looks way better for the for the light than this one. That one looks like a home one. <laughs> it doesn't look right, but this one, that definitely looks like a utility light. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll run these down alongside the roads, and then when you build your houses, all you have to do is hook up to the power through uh, right there and run it to your house, right? And of course, there will be nothing on the island that can generate heat. Like, we won't be running forges. Um, crafting, or crafting tables will be fine, but, um, you know, anything that generates heat. Holy crap, mixers. There we go. That was a word I was looking for. Now, this is our OG horde base. This is our um, initial design. We have to go and actually seal this up. Every, I think we're going to turn it into some sort of weird museum. Um, we'll do something with it because it's, it's a it's a good size hole. Uh, let's go down the pink hole here. Um, how long am I going to stream for? Today's stream uh, is about an hour. It's going to go for about an hour long here. I'm going to show you guys around. Um, next project we got to is moving all of this stuff that we have over to the other base. Like we, <laughs> I'm opening that one. There's like nothing in it. But like literally, guys, we had storage for days. We have storage for days. Um, this is all from digging up the island here as well, too. We seem to be getting a little low. I definitely hope people are not taking these home uh, for their own use. If I find out that's happening then uh, you'll get kicked off the island as well, too. That, that's that's what it is, right? We group build on the island, the material stay as a group, you know what I mean? Um, if we find out like you're taking like tons of stuff home to build with, then we're gonna get upset. Now, that could be just ignorant, and people probably actually just made, I'm gonna grab some concrete mix while we're here. Um, made materials out of it, like concrete mix and shit, and steel and whatnot. But yeah, we have to move all this over once we're ready, like all these mixers, all the forges, ugh gonna be so much work but that's okay that's okay i'm down for it uh, what do we have here coins oh yeah <laughs> people have been throwing their coins ah like they've been throwing their facial piercings in here too actually that kind of matches the name i get it um so we have this going on do i have i do have a paintbrush and i came looking for paint i think we're actually running out of paint oh no we're not sick okay so what do i not need i definitely need food we'll put some of this concrete away for now we need paint right now. I'm gonna concentrate on the paint thing. Here we go. 
slap some of that in my inventory and we are good to go to start painting up the other place um i'll take you guys too to show you the the island here a little better whoa stupid ladders i'm reading the chat and getting stuck on the thing your hair is amazing it is very wet right now man um normally my hair is not this shiny but for some reason when it's wet it is <laughs> thanks dude um, so basically this here, this tower, um, why I built this initially was to kind of give the center of the island, right? Tactical Wolf actually found the center of the island for us. We went from this point to this point and found the center. And this is dead center for the island. So our main road is going to go down the center of the island like this. And then maybe we'll run one more here and then one across here and then kind of just plot them all off, right? Like we're going to have group builds like um, a storage island or a storage building and and stuff like that but um we still got to get these walls going here too uh in here i'm actually going to build a passageway this will be in the main passageway to the hyper tunnel um underneath here uh, there's um we don't have mini bikes on the server so we have stuff like faster road movement faster water movement uh, you move slow and sand and snow and stuff um but there's also a, a sod is god or it's god sod block that makes him move really fast so we're going to build a tunnel underneath all of this and go from the island all the way across to here uh and then you can use that to go back and forth i don't think it's going to be used as much but it'll be really cool to have like a big huge um transport tunnel like that right that'll be really cool um and up here is actually what we have over here is our canal um, now how I've designed the canal is to look like boats can actually pass through this fucker, right? Oh my god. So good news guys. You see how that that's shaking? Here we go. We can see a little better there. You guys can see the canal now. Um, so we legit dug this sucker out. We uh, did the whole canal, but the canal is really deep, right? So I did use world edit to fill the canal with water, but we did uh, we did dig it out legitimately. If there is a way to put the water in there reliably, I would have done it that way. But uh, yeah, let's go up here. So basically... What I've done is made it so that it looks like you have to travel, you know, up a bridge, up top, and across. Now, in all realism, all you have to do is jump into the canal. There's um, there's ladders all along the canal that you can go up and down. I still haven't finished this bridge pro project, though. There's the other side of it right there. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I wish you guys could see this at daytime. It looks so much better. Why did I come over here at night? Yeah. Anyways, we should probably actually head back to the other base, and if I remember, we will go back to the, um, we'll come back to this island and take a look at it at daytime, because you guys can't see the, the canal in all its glory in the dark like this. Like, look how dark that is. But yeah, it's turned out well. I like it. Let's go for a run back to the other place here. Oh, and this whole island, guys, is I've made a block as well, too, in the mod. Um, it's called a no-spawn block. What this block does, oh, here we go is it's a natural um, ground block. It costs twice as much dirt fragments, but it's a natural ground block that you can make that doesn't have natural spawns on it. It'll spawn screamers still. Screamers ignore those rules and screamer hordes. So if you do get a screamer, you'll still get screamers and stuff on top of this, but it uh, negates all natural spawns. Um, so like if you took over a POI and you've made walls outside the POI and you don't want zombies spawning inside because that fucking happens, you can make these no spawn, uh, ground blocks and that'll stop the natural spawns. And that to me is realistic. You shouldn't have zombies appearing within a walled in complex, right? Like maybe if someone died or something, but to me that was very immersion breaking. I didn't like that at all. Uh, is this a server? This is my public server on uh, on PC, dude. I have two of them, 3.0 and 4.0. We were actually recently sponsored by Bluefang. So if you guys are ever interested in setting up a server and um, you want to go through Bluefang, hit my banner on my website, guys. That's my referral banner. I actually make a healthy commission off that, I won't lie. And um, you get a discount as well, too. But right now, there's an even better discount for Halloween, actually. There's a 15% discount. Uh, so use that one, right? But if you want to sign up for a Blue Fang, um, any any guys you know need casual help, I have no problem helping you out at all because Settlers Mod, the whole purpose of it was so that it was easy to install. It's more of a, no uh, a knob. <laughs> it's more of a uh, mod for newbies. A knob for movies. A knob for movies. There we go, guys. Um, <laughs> it is more of a mod for newbies, right? Because... Uh, I, I've been there. Alpha, late Alpha 14, I was just figuring out how to start a server, right? Like, I rented one, and I didn't even know how to use the dashboard, right? I'm like, 
how the fuck do I do this, right? So, I mean, if I had a little bit of help at that point in time, it would have been a little easier, but I kind of want to fill in that position that you need. So uh, check out my website if you guys ever want to do that. Start your own server. It's skippy3.com. Uh, the blue fang banner is down at the bottom. And uh, transferring over. I got to make some uh, videos as well too. I promised blue fang I'd make some tutorials for them. So I got to get on doing that sometime. But we need to start painting. That's why I came over here because it's dark and there's really nothing else to do. Um, now I want to see what colors we have for red. If we have two different color, perfect. We have concrete dark red and concrete red. So what I want to do with this is I actually want to paint one facing way, one color of red, and then the other facing way, the other facing way. Um, oops, wrong one. Dark red. There we go. Kind of flip them out back and forth between the two, right? There we go. So like literally, if you look at it from one angle, it's dark red, and then if you're able, to went from the other side, it's light red. And each side, I'm actually, I think I'm going to flip them different ways. Ooh, the sides of these as well, too, need to be done. I should do those actually black so that they just, oops, texture picker, uh, so that they actually just fit in. Here we go. The the black, oh, wait, oh, wait, no, wait. What was, what was a really, really black one? Not black granite. Um, beer cooler side. Here we go. This is, this is like the blackest black I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at that. It just, it just disappeared. It's gone. It's like there's a void there now. This is such a dark black. That's awesome. But that'll make it disappear so you don't see the sides. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I bought it on PS4 for no stabilization problem. Eh? Oh, I love the PS4 version, dude. You can't expect your console to pull off what you can pull off on PC, right? That's, that's, the, that's the way I look at it. And no matter how much you want it to, it, it just never will because... PCs evolve and consoles stay the same for X amount of time, which is why consoles do as well as they do. Because you buy a game for console, you know it's going to work for that console, right? Um, if you buy a lower end PC, you never know. You might not be able to run that game. So, a little give and take. Awesome. Painting's so tedious. I love it, though, because um, I was really nervous. I don't know if you guys watched me going into Alpha 15. Um, I was really, really hesitant about the painting because um, it just seemed too easy, right? Because before you would have to make brick blocks in the fireplace or in the thing. I never made brick blocks for its um, stability because brick blocks are shit when it comes to um, hit points, right? I, I made them because of how nice they looked, but it took a lot of heat map and stuff to... Um, uh, to make them so to make an attractive looking block uh, to make an attractive place you had to put some work in and fight off screamers or put some work into making a screamer free base you know what i mean and i was nervous that the painting would destroy that aspect of the game and honestly in vanilla it kind of fucking has uh what i did in here was i just increased the the cost of it and um increased uh the heat of it as well too so it kind of balanced out but i like it right because now like, I would never be able to do this before Alpha 16. There would have been no way, because there's no way to get multicolored blocks that weren't already programmed into the game with multiple textures. Um, when I switched my recipes over to Settler's Mod when I was getting ready to build it, I think I actually removed a good couple hundred blocks of the recipes, because they didn't exist anymore. Uh, like, blocks with different textures on them. But um, I'm thinking, though, console will get painting sooner than later because painting works, and it works well. Um, there's really been no problems with painting. Like, I, I've come into no issues with it. Um, so, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Wow, you guys upgraded these motherfuckers, too, eh? That's, <laughs> that's intense. That's awesome, though. Another row of protection for us. That's also decorative. I like it. We, we, can, we, can, we can call this, um... oh, I don't know. We'll call it something. Something's forge room. Ah, that's gonna look good. Dark from one side, light from the other. Cool. Like, and you're gonna come into the room, it's gonna be light, and then when you leave, it'll be dark. I can't show that yet, but we'll get there. Squirrel. I'm saving up for one, but the job doesn't pay enough. Yeah, that's a problem too, man. Like, I, I love PCs, dude, but honestly, the financial burden of a PC uh, can be a lot, right? 
Um, because like when you get when you get a console, you and your friends play, and you're fighting like you know y your competition is based on how you're playing in the game, right? But I find like when you come to the PC market, it's all about nerd balls, right? It's oh I have the 1080 Ti and I have this and I have this, right? Like a lot of the conversation is actually used up by that. At least when I fire up my console, I don't have any of that. You know what I mean? Bam! There we go. Because it's all literally the same hardware. Everyone performs the same. Everyone's on the same level. So there's no, oh, you just have a better PC and a higher resolution so you can see better than I do. You know what I mean? There's no excuse. It just is what it is. You have the same controller. Same setup. Same game. Oh, and hacking too on PC? That's one thing about multiplayer on PC too, guys. It's not all rosy. Um, games can get out of control with hacking. Uh, who's bad for that? Oh yeah, Reign of Kings. Great game. Shitty developers. Lat hackers literally ruined the game for everybody. It was bad. Hey, why, why, what's up? Long time no see. How are you doing? And I do apologize, guys. Usually I'm more talkative with the chat, but um, this is also going to be a recorded episode at the same time, too, right? So I kind of have to pick and choose when I'm replying, too, so it's conversational. Yeah, I'm not like that at all. Yeah, I know. I get a lot mostly because of my exposure, like how many people I'm exposed to while doing what I do. Like, it, it's insane, right? This is absolutely insane. And honestly, like... If, if you have a family and you spend 4k on the PC and your car needs to go to the shop, I'm going to call you a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? You're not cooler than I, I am because they have a more expensive PC. Um, buy a console. <laughs> uh, painting all the sides of these is going to take forever. At least it's almost morning time. It'll get a little lighter in here. Uh, we still have no light or anything in here too. Um, up above, there's some spotlights put in with a, a sensor, but that's about it. Not down here. This is this is still so very dark down here. Actually, this kind of looks jesterous. Jester. Doesn't it? Oh, I like how that looks. It looks so fucking cool. So dark, too. So dark and scary. Um, today, actually, guys. Today, later on on Twitch, I'm going to be playing The Evil Within 2. Um, amazing fucking game, guys. It, I don't get... I normally don't get scared or spooked. I played an hour of it last night and literally screamed like a girl. Like, in the first, like, 15 minutes of it. It scared the shit out of me in a couple points. It's scary. I love it. It's perfect. It's, I haven't been scared by a game in so long. And not, like, scared, like, scared to sleep. But, I mean, like, literally engulfed in the game to the point where it's, you know, I'm invested in it. And it scares me. They like, Doom and stuff? I just always found that more like, oh, look at all the gore. Oh, yeah. I didn't really find, like, Doom and stuff ever scary or, you know. They kind of more relied on the cheap jump scare type deal. But this game, the story too, guys. I normally get impatient. And honestly, I'm not I'm not big on lore. Um, so normally, I skip all that crap, right? Not in this game. If you guys haven't tried it, you, you gotta check it out. There's lots of streams and stuff going on. It's a pretty big game now. I can't wait to see that stream. Yeah, I'm going to do it later today. Um, it's going to be on Twitch. And um, actually, after this stream, I have to go out and do some running around. And then I'll come back and then probably stream that to Twitch. And then tomorrow, I will be streaming some more multiplayer on Twitch as well, too. Um, also, at the same time, fucking YouTube, right? Um, I get what they're doing with like the, the monetization on the videos. And I've been able to handle it so far. But they have my... Um, my stream, like the actual stream, if you go to... I don't know if you guys have ever set up a stream on YouTube before. But they've they've got my stream demonetized even before I stream it. And they're like, uh, submit it for a review once you have a thousand views. And I'm like, um, how am I supposed to get a thousand views before the fucking streams even... Um, before the streams even live, right? So they literally every time... I don't know if you guys have gotten commercials at all or anything on my stream. Which I don't really care about. You know, honestly, stream commercials aren't that great. So it, it's just more of the fact that... What the fuck? If I was a large streamer on YouTube, I would be very upset. If it was like my main thing. Ugh. Very upset. I um, added them on Twitter, but they haven't... They haven't given me an answer yet. I don't think they have an answer for that one. 
like when you um like when you go to the dashboard uh for setting it up and you go to your monetization issues or um settings it's it's literally demonetized in there i've never seen that one yet that one's brand new uh I'm thinking it was like maybe a stupid oversight of theirs to kind of do that. Or I'm thinking, cause you know what? I haven't streamed or I, I submitted it and I haven't streamed since I submitted it a few days ago. So hopefully maybe streaming once will get them to review the live stream preload out. I don't even know what to call it. Um, and, and say it's okay for monetization, but it's a little fucking weird. Holy crap, this is starting to all look the same. I'm going nuts. Uh, Scipio is coming on to put more steel on the tower, but I can wait though. You don't want to come on, either? You can come on, dude. If you have some paint too, you can you can help me paint. Uh, yeah, that's messed up. Uh, there are people like that. Grr. Uh, I was lucky my PC didn't cost me a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you don't have to have a costly PC, right? Like, you, you really don't. But, and, and this is arguable. A lot of people argue me this one. And I'm like, no. You will never get a PC for $400 um, that includes all the peripherals and everything it needs um, that performs like a console. You just you just won't. It, it's not possible, right? Um, I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, we did benchmark test. You can't benchmark a console. There's no way to do it. So you can benchmark a PC all you want um, and then just assume console stuff. But honestly, any $400 PC I've seen is um, for browsing the internet. So it's, it's either spend $400 on a console you know is going to work for a while or spend $400 on a PC that might be able to play The Sims. Um, you can do it. Like, if you're really crafty, you can actually put together a decent computer for a really low price. But, I mean, you gotta you gotta do a lot of digging and find used parts and do all the other crap too, right? Like, my last couple of systems weren't that bad, and I didn't pay that much for them. Holy crap, is it that dark down here? It is that dark down here. I think that just made it feel darker as well, too. Oh, you know what? What am I gonna do for the walls? There's another red as well. Oh, look, it's Deether. What's up, buddy? Come flying in. Yeah, let's do the walls metal red. Three different shades of red down here. It'll be like, it'll be like hell. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We'll call it, um, Hell's Forge Room. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Now we can actually see it. So we come in and it's light red. And then we leave and it's dark red. <laughs> I love that wave thing. I'm being really nerdy right now, guys. Deal with it. Um, house is coming along. We need to be ready, but the walls are back in. The walls? Oh my god. Uh, what, what happened? Why were you renovating or did something happen to your house, man? I'm so sorry, dude. I try to keep up with everybody, but sometimes I just get absolutely lost. Uh, Greg Hobbs says, Yo, Skippy, keeping me company while doing some grind on seven days to die that's what i do man like I, I watch streams and stuff right like when i'm doing my grindy boring parts it's like on my playthroughs and stuff um what i do is i turn the, the stream volume down really low on other speakers and i watch it right and sometimes actually every once in a while if you listen really carefully you might be able to catch someone's stream um in the background because um like i'll be out grinding and then something will happen all of a sudden and i have enough time to get to it but I usually keep it low enough that it doesn't um, have effect on it. It was fun making it though. I made sure I got a sale and saved up the money. I got what I want. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like, PC can offer so much more, but I don't know. Just for the average gamer, like if you're an average gamer, if you're not hardcore, if you just want to pick up a game and play it, go console, right? Um, if if you if you play video games more than you watch TV, buy a PC, right? You know what I mean? Like it's um, cut the cable, like cut the cable, save yourself 150 fucking dollars a month. You know what I mean? Save up for like a year and buy yourself a kick-ass PC. Get Netflix instead. Um, that's actually how I afforded my first PC, to be honest. 
I cut the cable, got Netflix, and that was it. Yeah, red. All right. So where are we gonna do the floor? <laughs> oh, this is this is insane. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking wasteland because I kind of want to go with like a hell theme down here. I want to make it look all crazy like. Because I don't know if you guys seen the upstairs, but the oh, we can call it like heaven and hell. <laughs> and this could be hell down here. Oh, it's getting brighter now. I can start seeing this. That that dark red is a very dark red though. Holy crap. Love it. Okay. Uh, if you guys haven't seen up here, this is where we take on the, the hordes, right? The hordes are in here. Um, so we got like the environment stuff going, right? Like we got grass painted and some plywood walls. This is all steel, by the way, guys. It's just all painted. And then uh, blue sky. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do around here yet, but we'll figure something out. I want to get down there kind of kind of done up. Maybe you could do something with lightning. Yeah, why, why? Um, we'll do electricity um, eventually here as well, too. I just, I kind of want to get every... I kind of want to... <laughs> I don't know why I fucking did that. I kind of want to get everything in and then kind of go from there. Okay, what is this texture? Oh, this texture doesn't rotate at all. It's literally the same texture over and over again. Okay, maybe we won't do that then. Uh, medicine cabinet. What else can we do? There is actually a lack of textures now that we look at it. Maybe pavement? Maybe we'll do pavement? I don't want anything too heavy as well either. Like, that rug would be insane. It'd just be too much to look at. Medicine cabinet? <laughs> we definitely don't want medicine cabinet. The whole floor is fucking reflective. Uh, flagstone? Let's see what that looks like against up against the red. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Maybe we'll do the floor flagstone down here. Uh, it looks a little texture heavy to me. Honestly, I love this texture, but in large quantities, I just I don't think it looks good. Okay, we're not gonna go with that. <laughs> we should do dead grass down here. Uh... Oh, ow, ow, ow! Yeah, I'm not looking at that. That's ooh, that's such an old texture. It's so shitty too. There we go. Some plains grass down here. <laughs> yes, there we go. Keep it natural. That's what we want. Oh, there's actually a hay bale. I like how you can paint hay bales, too. I think that actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. And it's not a crazy heavy texture. Uh, that's perfect. Because these textures are made to be in large quantities, right? They're, they're grass textures. So they don't, uh, like they don't have strong lines and stuff in them. You know what I mean? They kind of just blend together, right? Um, oh, Deether. No paintbrush, but here is some more paint. Oh, were you trying to give me paint, dude? Not bad. Is it over here? Or did you get frustrated and just leave? <laughs> you did. Okay, my bad, Deether. I just, I, sorry, I didn't see the chat there, man. Um, but yeah, guys, like we said, we have a ton of people working on this project. Um, it's, it's been going along well. We've had um, very little drama so far. A couple people kind of get too excited and go, go ahead and start um, assuming and building, uh, which is a big no-no. <laughs> especially on the group builds but um i can't wait to actually like fully open up yeah oh, fuck and start filling in the the other areas there we go um like the actual player builds right because then you guys can go crazy at that point but we've kept it right now uh to just kind of like you know wait wait to give the go ahead there we go dead grass I love it. Well, this is plains grass. The dead grass actually look kind of really shitty. I'm disappointed in that one. It looks like shredded wheat. Oh, it kind of does. You know what's delicious? Shredded wheat. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the paint, man. Yeah, shredded wheat is so good. Um, you know what I also really really like? Cream of wheat. Everyone's like, you're an old person, and I'm like, hey. I'm regular. Shut up. They just jealous. They they just jealous because I can regulate my bowel movements and they can't because they all eat in hard stuff. All right, let's get this done up, yeah. Love it. I'm gonna run out of paint very soon. Oh shit! I'm gonna run out of paint here very soon as well too. 
Now I'm hungry for mini wheats. Yes, we are actually sponsored by mini wheats. This is um, uh, hidden advertising, basically. Uh oh, we're gonna run out real soon. That's okay though. That's okay. Uh, you know, oh, do we have any iron bars here? We should. Oh yeah, I have. I have some on me. Perfect. Um, that area upstairs should be dryish now. Let's go and uh, do that because it's daytime and I can see. Okay. Uh, what do I need with me here? We need some forged steel because I gotta upgrade those. All right, let's go all the way to the top here, guys. And what the? There. Oh, the dead grass is the hay bale texture. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, Skippy is a once a day regular kind of guy. Every morning at 10 a.m. to 10, 10 a.m. I'm that regular, be jealous. Uh, so the canary cage, we're gonna be painting um, entirely yellow too, by the way. I think that will be fun. I don't get how some people don't poop every day. People do that? How do you not poop every day? <laughs> Anyone watching this uh, this as a replay is going to be like, what the fuck's wrong with your stream? I am never coming and watching one of your streams ever. Okay, awesome. Oh. And you know what I want to do too? I want to paint these. Um, actually, we're going to go one more out because I got to put a row of bars on the outside actually as well too to support the bars because I can't put them on the inside. And I also, before I do that, because the bars are going to be covering it up, what I want to do is paint the outside of this. And we're going to go with explosive supply crate for the outside. This is our infamous canary box, by the way. Here we go. Yeah. And now I wish I could paint this one. Is there any way... Can I paint through a rebar frame? I don't think I can. Oh, they should they should fix that. Maybe I'll suggest that to them. Make it so that you can paint through like rebar frames and crap. That would be really, really nice. This is gonna be a little bit tedious trying to get this done. So I'm gonna have to go and oh oh can I paint it from here? Oh look at that, I can too, nice. Oh my my paint, like the actual um like sprite the uh, when you every time you paint you get like that little action right um it went all the way down to where the spikes are that's funny all right so next step here is to get these suckers all on the face here here we go once you get one it's not that bad you just kind of walk around and there you go put them in their place <laughs> Jesus fuck. So these bars all got to be yellow as well here too. So I'm going to have to figure out um, how to paint these bars. I, ooh, you know what? Maybe I won't paint the upper bars yellow. Or I'll try it. Oh, wait. I'll try to do it from over there. You can actually probably reach them from over there, to be honest. Ooh. We're playing dangerous right now. I am not the best with edges, guys. I always fall off edges and shit. Uh, it's just that some people like me, we poop a bunch all at once, so time isn't taken up every day. Um, J Jacob, that, that still doesn't make any sense, dude. It's like saying you fill up your car all the way to save on gas. You still gotta poop, man. You should see your doctor and ask him about that. I'm actually kind of concerned now. Actually, I heard if you eat like a lot of red meats and stuff that you're, you're not as as regular, I think. Oh, that was close to placing it in the wrong spot. I hate it when that happens. Ah, oh, shit. Did I paint these? Fuck. I didn't paint them. You know what? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to take these bars out. Try to take them out. Then we will go and paint this from the outside, so I'm not being all stupid with it. Bam, there we go. Po poopery. Poopery. <laughs> uh, have you ever tried eating poopery? It tastes as good as it smells. I actually really, really hate the smell of poopery. I find it overwhelming. And it, sm it smells like dying old person. I don't know why I put those two together, but it smells like dying old person. That is also why I don't appreciate hard candies. Gotta get my sugar levels up. Alright. 
That is true with high protein diets. Yeah, you don't um, you don't digest it as fast. I think something like that. I don't know. My doctor tried to tell me before. Um, that's why that's why vegans have like five two minute poops every day. <laughs> There's like I poop as fast as I pee, and it's done with. What has this evolved into? Uh, okay, can we reach this from here? Yes, there we go. So much easier. So much easier. Here we go. Ah, that's what I like to say. Now, I definitely want you to be standing on a bunch of explosive crates while you're in the canary cage. Um, I have, uh, like, leprechauns and stuff, like, special ranged zombies to take out bases. Um, I have success successfully nerfed the toothy base. Which I absolutely love. Fuck the toothy paste. Toothy paste. If you guys want to do it, that's cool. It's your, it's your game, right? Like, don't ever take my opinion as what you should do with your own game. But I think the toothy paste is lame as fuck. It is one of the lamest things I've ever seen in Seven Days of Die. And I finally broke it with the leprechaun. I was so proud of that. Okay, so these bars have to be turned yellow as well here, too. There we go. The Canary Cage version 2.0. It's going to be so much fun. Watching um, Apfel um, was actually the last one in the Canary Cage. It did a really good job, too. All right, so the, since that's painted, I can go down and put the iron bars around the outside now. Um, always close the doors behind you as well, too, guys. I think you're technically supposed to poop two to three hours after eating. So usually I I, um, I like to eat when I go to bed. That way, you know, I, I I don't have to poop. I can be like, body, screw you. You can wait. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I, I am the master of my own body. Okay, let's put these down here. Oh, crap. There we go. Try not to fall off this edge. This would be a really bad fall. I'd take a lot of damage. And then I would land on the spikes. And now you guys are like, they're just spikes. But in Settler's Mod, what I've done is I've added a bleed out to the spikes. So if you land on the spikes, you also carry a bleed out after you get off the spikes, right? It's not just like a while you're on the spikes bleed out. Um, I did that too to nerf bases with a thousand spikes around it. Some people just put a thousand spikes around their base and just kind of hop around the spikes, right? And be like, oh, I hit the spike. Oh no. So I kind of gave more of um, uh, words and stuff. Consequence to using spikes like that. Now, you can still, like, build, like, platforms and stuff over them. That makes sense. But I like I like breaking bases. It's one of my favorite things to do. And, um, oh, shit. I, I think a lot of my players, too, appreciate that as well, right? Because you get kind of tied up in your own thing. And that's what makes the game boring. When you know what exactly to do and... When you need to know what exactly to do uh, with what timing then um, in my opinion, you're gonna get bored with the game pretty quickly because it's like, ooh, I mastered the game, right? It's day 14, I have a base surrounded by electrical traps. Um, Horde and I can't touch me. Right? That, that to me is kind of boring. I, I want people to still be terrified of Horde Knight at game stage 2500, um, which reminds me, I've been actually doing a lot of shit. Really, I don't have any repair kits left. Okay, that's, that's no problem get some here later um oh we gotta do this side right here here we go hey Atel, what's up man mobster yeah you know what i gotta do some more um fortnite as well too fortnite's a blast like it's it's not seven days to die um i don't even compare the two games together right like seven days to die to me has a lot more replayability right like i i do like pvp and stuff like that but me, after I play like five or six rounds of Fortnite, I'm, I'm done for a couple days. You know what I mean? Like, I've had my fun. Um, I got to put it down and be refreshed. But Seven Days to Die is just one of those games I can pick up every day and do something different, right? Like, I can go looting. I would be like, I want to go looting today. I could do some building. I could do some organizing. You know, I can, I can combine weapons. Uh, Fortnite is fun to me for only the one thing right now. And, and that's like the, the Battle Royale. I do have the full version. Um, I probably should give the full version more of a chance. Like, I, I like it. I really do. Like, the base defense is a ton of fun. Um, but it just doesn't seem to have the hold. Because it's not permanent, right? Like, I come on the seven day... This isn't permanent either. But I come on the seven days to die, I build something, I load it up the next day, and it's still there, right? 
That's what I think I really like about Seven Days. Um, until there's a new alpha or a forced wipe. I hate it when that happens. Okay. Let's go on the other side here. Bam. Nice. It's going to look so good when it's done. I think I'm gonna, only going to make the bars like three high as well, too. That's a lot of weight. I, I, I'm sure we're not going to have a weight problem on here because it's only three wide, but you never know. Oh, these things are derpy to place. I, I, I swear that thing's going to cause me to fall off over there. I want to stay in there. It'd be so annoying. But, um, like, small changes. Like, Alpha 16, these iron bars that, like, clipped the um, the sides instead of being centered. Amazing. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. We still have the centered bars. We can use those as well, too. But these ones are just kick-ass. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll only do it too high because uh, there's no aerial challenge yet. So you a third would just be more to fix. Because what you do up in this um, this cage at night is you're basically the bait, right? You're the bait for all the zombies. Uh, they're going to come at you, and they're going to run right off the sides and down in below. And then everyone else can fight them below. But the person that stays up here, um, he needs to have repair stuff on him, right? Because he's going to want to repair these bars as you go. Because those, um, those leprechauns, guys, those things will rip right through these bars. Um, I, I, did, I made them to do that, right? Um, what they do with the toothies, how I nerf the toothies with them, is they, they shoot through the toothies. So you get a rocket right to the fucking face in the middle of a toothy. Um, and then it breaks all the little bars. It, it's very capable of hitting the, the smaller spaces. Oh, shit. Maybe I should do one more up here. Um, so, like, now you don't have an impenetrable toothy base anymore. Um, and if you're a melee person, you'll actually like the leprechaun. The Bearded Guys Gaming finally figured out they can use the, the leprechaun. Um, as a crowd control, right? Because the leprechaun does rocket damage, which damages every single zombie around. Whoa. Um, every entity, I mean. Like player, zombie, animal, anything, right? Um, so if you can get a, a couple leprechauns and get all the zombies grouped up, you can actually use the leprechauns to kill the zombies, right? Um, but then again, because that's so OP, what I've done is I added the ring girl zombie, and she's quick, and if she catches up to you, she holds you in place, right? You won't be able to move, and then you get grouped up on, and you're dead. Aw, oh, look at that. Through all that talking, I was able to fix this. All right. So let's uh, let's finish off our canary cage here. Okay, so it doesn't look like you actually have to hit these right on a bar, which is sick. Imagine having to hit these on a bar to paint them. That would be such a pain in the ass. Be painting the walls over there and everything. <laughs> Um, I hate that it's called a toothy. Yeah, I don't know. I just, ever since I seen one in Alpha, what was it, Alpha 13, I think, is when I seen my first toothy, I was like, uh, yuck. Like, I, 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 I get it. I get it. It's a survival game. You want to be impenetrable. But there's ways to be impenetrable um, without, like, derping out the zom already bad zombie AI. Wow, that block is really weird. Uh, hey, Carl, how are you doing? He says it's late to the stream. Um, I am finishing up the canary cage here. It's, it's actually not really anything too special. Can I repair this? I can't. It's just wood. And, uh, yeah, I'm just finishing up the canary cage here. And dealer is down below, working down below. We did some painting. Um, I got to go actually back over to the island here. What I'm going to do is finish painting this. And then we're going to go back over to the island, and I'll show you guys uh, the canal and everything. We'll check that out. And then call this an episode, because this is a live episode. I'm going to be uh, releasing this one Sunday morning. Uh, so every week we're going to do a little bit of a catch-up, a little bit of um, gabbing, and a little bit of building for about an hour, you know, an hour and 15 minutes every session. And then release as an episode, because normally I don't release something on Sunday. And honestly, streaming for an hour and 15 minutes and releasing as an episode, although lazy, is a lot easier than doing a whole episode. Because, like, it's two, two and a half hours of recording then an hour of um, editing or more, depending on you know how long the editing is and how much I have to do. Uh, my last episode this Saturday has 53 cuts in it. 53 cuts in a 50 minute video. That's a lot of cuts. Um, some of the cuts are actually really smooth. You don't even notice they happen. Um, but yeah, there's like literally a cut almost every minute. 
in, in, in the episode. So I put a lot of work in editing my videos. I rather honestly put out one really high quality episode and get a little more views on that one video than put out two like slap together episodes and get a little more views off those ones, right? To me, quality is important. Okay, sweet. Look at that, guys. We got our canary cage done, except for that. I'm gonna have to come back up here and get rid of that. I don't even have a pickaxe on me to, to do it, but we are gonna go and check out that other island. It looks like my webcam too is not lagging behind. Um, although it's not very big for me. Is my webcam keeping up with my letters or words that are coming out of my mouth hole? Whoops. Let's go up here. Damn it! I can't get up the big blue ladder! I had this... I had this problem the other day as well, too. I don't know what my main malfunction is, but... Hey, it happens, right? Alright, let's go... Jesus. Let's go check out the island here. <laughs> it's fucking tripping out. Ah, oh, that looks good. I love it. The canary cage. Now, why we call it the canary cage with the explosives is back in the day um, when they were building mines and stuff and there's a lot of like buildup in the air. I don't think it's something people can smell. I forget exactly how it works. It's not something people can smell, but it's something like canaries and birds can detect and they start going crazy, right? Like if something's wrong, they start going crazy and that's how they need to evacuate the mine, right? Uh, the canaries were pretty much the dummies. Um, so that's why we made the bottom explosives and the side yellow and we call it the canary cage because you end up being the bait, uh, for all the zombies. Yep, no leg. Oh, sweet. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because, um, that hub I had, I remember I had, like, moved everything, um, everything together. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Jolene? Kids. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's go over here. I don't know. I... I'm so bad for losing my train of thought when I'm doing stuff like this. Mm. Cheers, everybody. It's getting cold. I'm going to have to get a new one when I go out here. A new Tim Hortons. I already had a pot of coffee and an extra large Timmy's. It's it's going to get bad. But I showed you guys this. This is our old horde base. It's now decommissioned. We don't do hordes here anymore. Uh, this is all replaced with no spawn land. So um, other than screamers, nothing can spawn on it. As you can tell, there's nothing here. There's no zombies. We good. And I wanted to show you guys the canal. So we'll go up to the top of this tower here and uh, check that shit out. Now, this design here with like the wood, the gray, and um, the rivet metal is how I'm going to do the outside walls as well, too. I originally had a little bit of a di different design for the walls, but I think I'm going to go like it's marble, right? And yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with this because um, I actually really like that sandstone texture, like really like it. And we're going to do the walls like that. Now, as you can see, I've actually started laying out all of the foundations for the walls. We've started doing the walls all the way around here. Once we have the walls done, we're going to do the roads. We're going to split everything off and then start our player builds. And that's when you'll see the city go boom. And by that time, I shouldn't have to worry about, you know, doing, building any of the amenities. And I can start working on my castle, which is going to be up here. Uh, let's go actually right to the top of this sucker and take a look from up here. That's a good view from up here. So my castle is going to be up here, right? I still got to do some landscaping and stuff up there. Um, the main city is going to be down here, nice and flat. Wow, flattening out this island too was absolutely insane. And uh, we have this uh, canal actually going right through the middle of this island right here. There we go. And it'll be eventually matched up with the bridge. I just haven't finished it yet. But there we go. Look at that canal right through the middle. I've always wanted to make a canal in Seven Days to Die. And we finally finally did it um and i told you guys too like the canal itself is pretty freaking deep um the tunnel the hyper tunnel we're planning on building that's going to be going across the island like this and over to screamer island is actually going to be underneath this uh, canal uh we're gonna have to be real careful while building it as well too so that we don't um collapse any gravel or anything into it it's gonna be a little tricky i think maybe the hyper tunnel should be down at bedrock because we're we're not even that far off bedrock guys we're at minus 26. Where is the bottom of this canal? Uh, we'll get down here very slowly. There's a whole bunch of like garbage down here from us um, accidentally collapsing things into it. So the canal already has debris in it because we, oh yeah, over in the side too, we collapsed um, it after we put the water in. So yeah, minus 36. So there's only minus 20 blocks underneath here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start drowning. There we go. Whew. Okay, so that that's that's pretty much it, guys. 
Uh, not much else to show you at the moment. Hopefully by next week, we have some of these walls done here. The horde base is ready to go and 100% functioning. Um, we've cleaned up the island a bit. Are these all empty? No? Are these? Oh, these are empty. Whoever moved all this? You fucking rock. Thank you very much. Um, we can get rid of this now. Oh, fuck. I don't have any steel tools on me. <laughs> it is what it is. But anyways, guys, um, it's been about an hour here for the episode, so I think I'm going to call it here. It's been great. Um, I will be streaming to Twitch here a little bit later on, guys. I got to charge my batteries for my lights so they don't go out. I'm going to be doing The Evil Within 2. Fucking awesome game, guys, and a nice break from the regular. I love Seven Days to Die, but you guys got to realize I'm a human being. I can't play this for 12 hours a day every day. <laughs> but anyways, guys, have a good one. Stay classy and enjoy the end stream. I will see you guys um, over in Discord. If you guys have, you want to be a part of the community, uh, go to my website. There's a Discord link on there. See you guys later. If I can play this. Can I play it? Can I play it? End stream. Nice. Peace.